Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist here. Just mapping out this kitty, this tree climbing kitty. The cats kind of look like strange bugs at first, but they evolve into cats. I've got it at double speed here. And this is just a quick little gesture sketch. I'll bring that tail back up to lead the eye up towards the focal point. You know, the face and claws and stuff. Just making some shapes into a cat. There's where the muzzle's going to go. And now I'm just strengthening up the lines that I like, that I want to keep. It'll allow the other extra lines to fade into background tone. Tighten up a little bit when I do the eyes, when I do the facial features. Just so I can get them in the right place. This cat's got pretty buggy looking eyes. And that cute little nose. Kind of got to shape the paw so it looks like it's clinging onto the tree. And a suggestion of claws. I like that. Remember that less is more. Too much detail confuses the eye. Distracts from what's important. Make every stroke count. Make sure we see that tree in there. Thought those ears needed a little bit of lengthening. And turn it into a smirk. I kind of actually liked it better before I added that smirk, actually. I like the surprise look, but that's okay. You know what? It shows you that either one is, you can do either one and whatever works for whatever particular drawing you're doing. Whiskers. I usually put the whiskers on last, but of course often I decide I want to do something a little more after too. And I do often soften up the whiskers with an eraser, especially near where they sprout out of the cat because it sometimes it can look a little too dark there if I don't. Using a sharper pencil here to kind of sharpen up the claws a bit. And then tone them down so they don't stand out too, too much. We'll add some texture to make that look like a tree. Just a suggestion, it's more about the cat. We know the cat's in a tree, but I want the focus on the cat. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.